It is Friday night, February the 3rd. We welcome you to H.H. Dow High School for boys basketball on MPS TV as the Midland High Chemics make the short trip across town to take on the Dow High Chargers. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. It's the Chemics and the Chargers round number two here on this early February evening. The Midland High Chemics coming into this game under veteran coach Eric Krause. Midland High coming in with a 6-6 six and six record. They are 5-4 and four in the Saginaw Valley. They're coming off a loss against Saginaw Arthur Hill, 61-54, to 54, but that's a game that Eric Krause was pretty pleased with uh, how the Midland High gimmicks play. Yeah, I was talking to him uh, before the game, and uh, he was saying that uh, uh, he was so happy with that game. And I'm thinking to myself, Eric, your team didn't win. But he said that they did everything that he wanted them to do. Uh, they showed great energy, great poise, um, and, uh, and they were playing a little bit down. They didn't have all of their players uh, playing that particular night. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But uh, he was really, really happy about his team's effort. But yep. Arthur Hill is a perennial power in the state. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the Midland High Chemics are back to full strength tonight. They, uh, they were not at full strength against Sagan Arthur Hill. They had two players that missed the game due to a suspension, and they had one player that was battling an illness bug. So they were definitely shorthanded in that game uh, against Arthur Hill. But everybody is dressed and eligible to play here tonight against the Dow High Chargers who come in under coach Mark Dickerson, Dow High. Identical record as the Midland High Kimmick, six and six overall. They are four and five in the Saginaw Valley. And the Dow High Chargers are coming off a win against Bay City Central, but it's a game that Mark Dickerson wasn't particularly pleased. You had Eric Krause happy with a loss. You got Mark Dickerson not so happy because they almost allowed Bay City Central to get back into that game the fourth quarter. So Mark is looking for the Dow High Chargers to put together an entire basketball game. Yeah, uh, he was very pleased with his team's defense early in the game. But yeah, in the fourth quarter, it got a little bit relaxed, got Bay City Central kind of back into it. But uh, overall, he, he really didn't think the game was too much in doubt, but uh, he really wanted his team to play uh, a full game of really good aggressive defense. Well, when these two teams met back in January, the Midland High Chemics were able to uh, take control of the game early. If you're the Kimmicks, uh, you want to do the same thing. If you're a Kimmick fan, you want to do the same thing. If you're a Charger or a Charger fan, you're looking for a little different outcome on this Friday night. Either way, we should have a great contest here on MPS TV. It's the Dow High Chargers, the Midland High Kimmicks, coaches versus cancer night here at Dow High. And right now, let's turn things over to our public address announcer, Jason Chahovsky.
This is the home of the Chargers. Tonight, the Chargers host the Kevins of Manila. And now for the starting lineup for the Kevins. 5'11 Jr., number three, Drew Dandy. 6'2 sophomore, number 20, John White. 6'1 Jr., number 21, Martin Money. 6'4 Jr., number 32, Garrett Willis. Starting by number three, you're now my Chargers. Five nine junior number three, Ben Seitler. Six eight senior number twenty four, Caleb Brudeau. The starting lineup said we are set to go. High school basketball on MPS TV. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, and a great crew of volunteers bringing you this game. As we take a look at the Dow High Chargers in their home white uniforms, they will have Trevor Davis, Ben Zettler, Caleb Brudo, Zach Chichester, and Logan Daniels as their starting five. The Midland High Kimmicks making their way onto your screen in their away blue uniforms. Drew Gandy, John White, Martin Money, Garrett Willis, and Isaiah Bridges are the five starting for Midland High. Isaiah back on the court after being ill on Tuesday night. Martin Money back on the court. He was one that of the players that were involved in a after-the-game altercation against Saginaw Heritage that uh, ended up serving uh, a two-game suspension. The ball ended up going out of bounds and uh, wasn't exactly the best tip off, so let's do it again. <laughs> Midland High winning the tip this time around. Kimmich working to John White, now over to Drew Gandy, to Martin Money. Money is a junior on this Midland High team. Feeds it over to Garrett Willis, three-pointer. Doesn't get the friendly bounce and a rebound pulled down by Caleb Rudo. Trevor Davis over to Ben Zettler. Settler at the top of the key goes back to Davis. Davis, the senior, finding Logan Daniels, another senior on this Charger team. Daniels to Zach Chichester. Midland High pulling up the, uh, the defense a little bit, and they're double-teaming Chichester. Garrett Willis with the steal. He can't get the bucket to fall through. The rebound is no good as well. Finally, a foul call. Garrett Willis thought he should have been fouled. No call, but it will be Isaiah Bridges that does end up fouled. And the sophomore will go to the free throw line. Now, Dow High definitely has some, a size advantage, but uh, uh, Midland High is uh, right now just looks a little more aggressive. Isaiah Bridges missing the first free throw. He's a sophomore, six foot three, good inside player on this Midland High team. And he will step out and take a longer shot, too. So Dow's got to watch for that also. He scores the first bucket of the game from the free throw line. Midland High 1, Dow High 0, 7-11 to go. Just underway with boys basketball. Logan Daniels over to Settler. Settler goes inside to Davis. Now feed it back out to Brudo. Brudo can't get a shot to go, but a foul is going to be called away from the basket. Wait to find out uh, who it's going to be called on. It was called on Midland High, so the Chargers will have the ball out of bounds. Drew Gandy he was the one that picked up the foul. And now we've got a timeout because John White has a cut, it appears, uh, right below his eye. So he is going to head to the trainer. 
Saginaw Valley League basketball, a little <laughs> more physical than uh, what you may expect. And John White can say absolutely because he's going to have to be doctored up a little bit after getting uh, scraped across the, uh, uh, right below the eye. Trevor Davis, three-pointer, the senior for the Chargers, giving Dow High the early lead. Dow High three, Midland High one, 640 here in the first quarter. Bridges with a bounce pass now over to Garrett Willis, to Drew Gandy, to Martin Money. Finding Garrett Willis again. Vince Walker, by the way, it was the one that checked in when John White had the uh, the injury. White will return, I'm sure, in only a matter of uh, moments. Well, and Eric uh, Kraus has been comfortable having Vince uh, come off the bench. Just seems like he's more comfortable that way. And when the game is over, he's got stats like a starter. You know, he's got points. He's got rebounds. He's got the ball, and he's got the bucket. <laughs> Just like that. 6-2 senior. Vince Walker tying the game up. Dow three, Midland three, 6-10 to play. We're just underway. Working on the baseline is Davis. Feeds it out to Zach Chichester. Three-pointer no good. Tip in is no good. And Walker will get the rebound for Midland. Walker feeds it over to Drew Gandy. Money back to Gandy. Back to Money. Midland High working around the perimeter. Garrett Willis will put up the three-pointer. Shot is no good. Money had the rebound briefly. Zettler will steal it away. Now Davis feeds it over to Chichester. Tried to go, uh, tried to get the crowd to explode, but they could not execute. The Dow High student section would have came on glued if Chichester could have sent that one home. Willis loses the handle on the ball. Great crowd here at Dow High, the final regular season meeting for these two teams. The boys' districts will begin the first week of March over at Bay City Central. And they're in opposite brackets, so they could meet each other. They'd have to go to the finals. They both have first round buys. Three-pointer no good, but Mark Money committing the foul, and that is gonna send going to send Trevor Davis to the free throw line. Three free throws for Davis. Uh, I think that's number three at the line. Uh, you're that right. Ben ben you're right. You are correct. They're both about the same height, I think. Zettler missing. Zettler's got a little more hair than Davis. <laughs> and he's left-handed, but uh, other than that, they're exact. <laughs> Except for being different, they're the same. They are, okay. Oops. Fettler missing uh, the first um, two free throws. You just need need to relax. You know, it's early in the game. You got, uh, you know, the, your third of three free throws. You kind of want to get comfortable in the scoring, your scoring uh, touch, and there we go. It's good, good he dropped the third one. Dow high four, Midland high three. Five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Inside of Walker, knocked away by Daniels. Midland able to recover. Money feeding it to Daniels, who goes on the baseline. Good defense by the Chargers. Drew Gandy's shot is off the mark. Battle for the rebound it will go out of bounds. It will be Charger basketball. That could have been called uh, either way, but uh, the official will seem to be right on top of it. Midland High is going to bring John White back into the game. And it looks like uh, Henry Kessler has also entered. Kessler is a sophomore on this Midland High team. Coming off the bench tonight, but he has started at various points of the season. Chichester with the ball for the Chargers. Nice pass into Brudo, and Brudo will be fouled. Kimmick thought it was clean, or at least the Kimmick fans did. But that is not going to be the case. The foul is going to be called. It's not too much of a uh, argument from Kraus, so I'm going to assume the, uh, the officials are right. Yeah, when Bruto went up, uh, he got sandwiched by two Midland High players. 
Yeah, they ended up uh, g giving it to Bridges, but it could have been either one. Caleb Rudo is a defensive uh, value for this Dow High Charger team. Six foot eight center. The Kimmick uh, fans are uh, going to make some noise. Second free throw, a little better than the first one. Chichester, three-pointer, no good. Chichester, nice job trying to make the save, but Martin Money will come away with it for the Kimmicks. Money will pull out, switch direction, and Money will be fouled hard. We're playing some basketball, Tom. It is physical tonight. Now, Martin Money is playing like a senior, you know. He, he brought the ball down very heady. Drove the lane, not much of a chance, backed up, and drove it again. Yeah, money doesn't mind physical play. He's very aggressive. So you're not, making a little body contact is not going to uh, stop money, who is able to hit the free throw. Now, he has to be careful uh, on his free throw that he doesn't make contact, uh, or he doesn't go over the line on the, uh, the follow-through, because the very first one, it was questionable. Both free throws are good. Midland High, five, Dow High, four. Just over four minutes to play in the first quarter. How about a steal? Martin Money takes it right away from Chichester, but a block on the other end. Logan Daniels coming up huge with the block. Yeah, Daniels had a really good angle and uh, didn't leave Money much of a shot. I love the uh, play we're seeing. A great steal by Martin Money. And then a great block by Logan Daniels down on the other end. Kimmicks go inside. John White can't get the bucket to go. Rebound pulled down by the Chargers. That's Kevin Murray who uh, has checked into the game for Dow High. One point Midland High lead. Back and forth we go in the first quarter. Davis fighting Chichester goes back to Davis but Davis was out of bounds. That's not supposed to happen on your home court. <laughs> You're supposed to know where it is. Huh? No, I just think that uh, he set his foot to drive and uh, it may have caught just a little bit of the sideline. Tom O'Cooley, the senior, has uh, checked into the game for the first time for Dow High. Midland High working the ball around to White. Now to Martin Money, goes inside. Garrett Willis, count the bucket. Nice quick passes by Midland. Garrett Willis, his first basket of the game. Midland high seven, Dow high four. 3.15 to go here in the first quarter. We may see that again, uh, having Willis uh, post up. Ben Zettler gets by the defender, but then he opts to pass it out. Davis goes inside, looking for Murray. Murray using his power on the baseline. Kevin Murray, 6'4". Muscles his way into a Charger basket. Midland seven, Dow six, 2.50 to go in the opening quarter. Murray had a nice drive to the basket. Good aggressive play. Garrett Willis, three-pointer, count it. Left open, and Garrett Willis back-to-back -back buckets. Midland high 10, Dow high six, two and a half minutes to play in the so first quarter. Willis so far is Mr. Inside and Mr. Outside for the Canucks. Ben Zettler working the ball for the Chargers. Zettler taking the screen. Now passes to Murray. Back to Zettler. Can't handle it. Little miscommunication. It's hard to pass the ball when somebody is shoulder to shoulder with you. And the ball goes out of bounds. And it's hard to pass to someone that's only four feet from you, too. It gets real congested in that corner. Spacing has not been really, really good for Dow the last two uh, trips down the court. Vaughn Walker and Jordan Patty have checked into the game for the Midland High Kimmicks. They work inside to Patty, now goes back to Vaughn. Now it's Garrett Willis, three-pointer off the mark. Willis gets his own put back and the foul. Willis will have a chance for a three-point play. No one blocked out. Uh, Willis knew his shot was off, you know, and he's the first guy to know when the shot's bad. And he followed his shot and had a nice putback. Logan Daniels will re-enter the game. I, Isaac Bolinar, the sophomore, is also into the game for the Chargers. But Garrett Willis is on the free throw line. He had 22 points against Arthur Hill. 
And he's off to a pretty strong start here tonight as he completes the three-point play. Midland High 13, Dow High 6, under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Trevor Davis feeds it over to Tom Oakley. Chargers work it back around the perimeter with Davis working the ball. Now as Isaac Molinar goes to Davis who thought about the shot. Davis into the paint, double pumps, pounce passes back over to Molinar, goes back to Davis. Davis appears to be the only one looking to shoot for the Chargers. Well, and Midland is really playing him tough everywhere he goes. Three-pointer, Isaac Molinar, no good. Vaughn Walker will pull down the rebound for Midland. Jordan Patty working the ball around now to the baseline. Trying to get the foul was White, but did not get the call. Here comes Davis, and Davis will be fouled. Will they give him two shots, or was that a pass? Now it appears they're going to send him to the free throw line. All right. I guess when he was uh, uh, to, trying to, to model the shot he had, or the pass, it, it looked more like a shot. So he's being rewarded. Tom, actually Mitch Hayes, the junior, will come into the game for the first okay. time for the Chargers. Davis. Second free throw, gets that one. Midland High 13, I believe it's Dow High 8, although the scoreboard indicates 7. It is 7? It is 7. Three-pointer, no good by Midland, rebound by Murray. Murray adds a lot of size underneath, a lot of power for the Dow High Chargers under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Hayes, three-pointer, no good. Walker will get the rebound for Midland. Jordan Patty pulls up, goes back to Vaughn. Vaughn thought about the three. Now to Garrett Willis. Willis pulls up his dribble. Patty will fire the three-pointer. Hits the front of the rim. Rebound pulled down by Tom Oakley. 20 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Dow High across midcourt may be playing for the final shot. Logan Daniels with the ball, 10 seconds. Daniels has picked up his dribble. Kevin Murray's open near the baseline, can't get the shot to go. Patty will have the rebound, clock down to one. Patty fires, it will count if it goes, but it does not. <laughs> it had another chance. <laughs> the first eight minutes are in the book here at Dow High. It's the Midland High Kimmicks with the lead, 13 to seven in favor of the blue and gold. High school sports here on MPS TV, a great MCTV crew volunteering their time on a uh, Friday night. Jim Malik operating the camera, John Walters producing tonight and running audio for the broadcast. We got Dennis Keeney who will be back on the camera in the second half. Jeff Yoder doing stats and of course Tom Bell, you've been by my side for what, 25, 30, 40, 50 years? I don't know how long it's been. Uh, 21, I think. 20, yeah, I know, this is our 21, 21st season. 21 years. And we still can't get it right. We keep, we keep trying. <laughs> yeah, it's the, like uh, P P PTI club, yeah. Try to do better next time. Kimmick student section having some fun. They've got a uh, lead. Midland High leading scorer, Garrett Willis, eight points, one rebound. Trevor Davis, the leading scorer for Dow with four points. And Davis is not in the lineup right now. The one thing we've noticed is that uh, Midland High has been uh, paying a lot of attention to Davis. So uh, they had Chichester out of the game at the end of the first quarter. They got him back in. And a nice in, uh, inside pass to uh, Bruto. And uh, I think he's going to go to the line to shoot two. The foul is going to be called on Gandy, which is the second one on Gandy, fifth one on Midland. And Caleb Bruto, the senior, ready to shoot some free throws. Count the first one for Bruto. 
Yeah, I think Caleb's getting a little razz from the Midland High fans right now, and that's a good way to silence them by hitting the center of the basket. There you go. There's two. They'll be quiet from now on. Midland High 13, Dow High 9, just underway in the second quarter. John White with the ball for Midland. He's just a sophomore. Worked it over to Isaiah Bridges, who is back in the game. Now to Drew Gandy. Gandy taking a couple of dribbles, being was being guarded by Mitch Hayes. Now Hayes pulled back on the defense a little bit. Underneath, White is open. Midland High taking advantage of the zone, and John White able to get the bucket. It's Midland High 15, Dow High 9. Just over seven minutes here in the first half. Lost his footing, and they're going to call Brudo for the travel. Well, let's watch this next time down the court if Midland High tries to post up on White. He's just 6'2", but uh, he's a strong kid. Dow bringing a little more defensive pressure. Midland High able to get across. Well, they got across midcourt, but they threw it right into the hands of Brudo. But then the Chargers lose the handle as they try to come down court. Yeah, Midland High has got to look here to the center of the court to break pressure on that uh, press here, not throw it up the sideline. So, and that's exactly what uh, Eric is talking about. Hitting the floor hard. Bruto is going to be called for the foul. He doesn't think he uh, made contact, but Garrett Willis definitely feels the contact was made, <laughs> especially with the floor. That's the second foul on Bruto. Dow High is going to bring Kevin Murray back into the game. You know, one part of basketball, over the years, the floors don't get any softer. Remember the uh, the rubber-like floor that Bay City Western used to have? It was slippery. It was slippery. And uh, you, you'd smack down on, on that one. But these floors give a little bit more. But they're still hard. Gandy with the ball for the... Midland High gimmicks. Gandy now working to Garrett Wills. Goes inside to Martin Money, who just gets hammered by Chichester. I think Money was kind of, uh, he was at a loss for options underneath there. And uh, the only thing he could do was just jump and try to carry somebody with him. And that was Chichester. Did you know that basketball is listed as a non-contact sport? Um, well, okay, they've uh, changed that a little bit. Basketball is a contact sport. Football is a collision sport. I so, got gotcha. Yeah, so it, contact is a part of it. That's why they bring in fouls. Now, I don't know that what kind sense. of rules come into fighting in hockey, but uh, that's neither here nor there. A lot of rules because uh, they've, they've really cracked down on that. Good. At least at the high school level. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three-pointer, count it. Trevor Davis able to hit the three to pull the Chargers within four, but John White open on the baseline, can't get the shot to go. Rebound brought down by Oakley. Davis inside the paint, doesn't get it to go. Martin Money will have the board. Money's playing a good game tonight. Three-pointer, John White, no good. Rebound, kept in play by Garrett Willis. Great job by Willis. Isaiah Bridges, count it. And a timeout called Mark Dickerson. If, no, I believe Dark Dickerson called the timeout. Actually, both coaches, both coaches called, for, called a timeout at the same time. <laughs> the question is, who is going to get the timeout? Mark Dickerson is. So how unusual that both coaches wanted the timeout. It is Mark Dickerson. Oh, no, they're not going to get a timeout. Was so Then why did the referee blow his whistle? He can't get a timeout if his team doesn't have the ball. But the team has the ball. Well, they, they, they do now. Did they try to call it? Well, okay, all right. They, they allowed the shot. They allowed Bridges They allowed shot the shot, come. but I don't know why the official blew his whistle. He may have misunderstood. That could have been. Yeah. Well, either way, so nobody used a timeout. 
And we're playing ball. 5.15 to go here in the second quarter. Midland High leading by four. I'm going to have to check with our stat man. Is that score on the scoreboard correct? It is. It, 18. It's, not, it's 18, not 16. That, that, yeah. is, that is correct. Yeah. 18 to 12. It's a six-point Midland High lead. Three-pointer no good for Midland. Here comes Davis with the ball for the Chargers. Now they can't let Davis uh, free of uh, defensive pressure. It's going to hurt him. Oakley into the paint will draw the foul, so he will go to the free throw line. 6-2 senior. Oakley will be on the free throw line. Garrett Willis picking up the foul. Both teams are now in the bonus for the last 446 of the first half. Oakley gets the foul to fall through. Henry Kessler, by the way, checks back into the game for Midland. And it looks like... Uh, Midland also has Vince Walker back in. Vince is a great athlete. He plays football and basketball. Second free throw is no good. Isaiah Bridges will get the rebound. Midland high 18, Dow high 13, 440 to go here in the second quarter. Garrett Willis, three-pointer, no good. Bridges, rebound. Passes back to Willis, who fires from just outside of the paint. Nice rebound, and Garrett Willis finishing the job. Kimmich leading now by seven, 420 here in the second quarter. That was truly an aggressive basket for the Kimmichs. Ben Settler back into the game for the Dow High Chargers, and we have an offensive foul called away from the ball. Kevin Murray and Martin Money, and uh, now the foul's going to be called, but Martin Money... May have been watching some uh, some uh, theatrics from the NBA because I'm not sure that there wasn't uh, some uh, acting there on Money's part. Well, he may have gotten a hip, but uh, Money uh, made the most of it. Well, if the officials are going to buy it, Money's going to sell it. You can't blame him there. Oh, okay. <laughs> All part of the game. Garrett Willis. Three-pointer, count it. Boy, he's got a nice touch from out there. Biggest lead of the game for Midland High, 23 to 13, 345 to play in the first half. Logan Daniels with the ball. Now to the top of the key to Zettler. Zettler being guarded by Walker, working back over to Daniels. Daniels picks up his dribble, great defense, but Great defense around the perimeter. They ended up leaving Isaac Molinar wide open underneath. And Molinar able to put the bucket in. Isaiah Bridges, three-pointer, count it. He likes to play inside, but you mentioned he'll take the shot outside. And Isaiah Bridges hits the three, and the Dow High Chargers want a timeout. You know, and that's a shot that's a little further out than I was familiar with in shooting. But uh, he's got a pretty good touch there. Um, I've also noticed uh, that Chichester, is Chichester in foul trouble? But he isn't playing a whole lot right now. I don't know if there's a message that uh, Coach Dickerson is, is sending him a little bit, uh, maybe to get him re revved up and into the ball game. Garrett Willis, leading scorer so far, 13 points for Willis. We've got 3.09 to play here in the second quarter. Midland High 26, Dow High 15. This game produced by MCTV Volunteers. If you'd like to become a volunteer, orientation is coming up in February, March, and May. And you can uh, become a volunteer by giving the MCTV studio a call at 837-3474. It's about a three-hour orientation that will take place on a Saturday at 10 o'clock in the MCTV studio. And just in the past year, MCTV has upgraded some great new equipment that the Staff will train you on how to operate. You can become an MCTV volunteer, produce your own program, help out on programming as well. Again, 837-3474, the telephone number, or you can uh, find us on Facebook. Become part of the crew 
here on MCTV. Inside, but knocked away by Willis. Kemmicks will come back the other direction. Martin Money to Isaiah Bridges. Now working over to the corner, Henry Kessler can't get a shot to go. Walker will pull down the board, and Midland will set up their offense. Martin Money just dribbling near midcourt as everybody gets into place for the Kimmicks. They're trying to set up events. Now they did, but Walker can't get a shot to go. The ball, however, last touched by Bruto, so Kimmix will keep possession. I was impressed. Vince was really directing traffic for his offense right in the middle of the play. And he doesn't even start. So you're looking at some leadership qualities for, for a guy that uh, may not see as much playing time as some of the other players. But. And they're going to go call a foul, I believe. Uh, well, who are they going to get? Kevin Murray, maybe? Um, 30, no, 34. It's just, just slow on getting the number on the board. Okay. Isaac Molinar called with the foul, so Margin okay. Money will be on the free throw and, line. And that's his first. So now we've got Money misses the, the free throw, and we've got Bruto with a rebound, and we've got Chichester back into the ball game right now. Uh, Davis is looking to try to get the ball in inside. Unfortunately, they get it to Bruto in the corner, and Bruto's going to need to try to reset to get down on the block. But in doing so, they what what they do? Uh, uh, possession arrow. Jump ball. Okay. Yeah, they got Bruto the ball a little too far away from the basket, and uh, uh, I'm not so sure he's much of a threat way over in the corner. They want him a little closer to the block. Two minutes to go in the first half. Midland High on top, but Eric Krause not happy with how the offense was setting up, so Krause is going to call a timeout. Kimmich leading by 11 with 155. There's the uh, the veteran coach, Eric Kraus, for the Midland High Kimmich. He is sporting one of the coaches versus cancer t-shirts that were being sold before the game and uh, being sold at both of the schools as this game is uh, is uh, being at the, uh, the Midland Public Schools answer to the Jimmy V Week or okay. MCTV's answer to Jimmy V Week where uh, coaches versus cancer and obviously that's a cause that has affected nearly uh, every household in Midland in one way or another and so money being raised yes. tonight to be donated to help uh, fight cancer and hopefully one day find a cure. You know and, and it extends the awareness that uh, they still need help you know there are a lot of breakthroughs a uh, lo lo lot of things that are just on the edge of being solved and uh, they need to continue to be a viable, um, uh, a, a, a viable, um, what, what's the uh, word I'm, I'm looking uh, for? A solution. So, so, solution so, what, to, what, to the problem. I'll tell you, one of the charity. things. The, viable uh, charity. Viable uh, charity. The Midland Public Schools are doing a great job raising awareness for various issues coming up. Probably by the time uh, that this game airs, it may have already taken place, but there's going to be a walk raising awareness about uh, domestic violence and, and violence towards women. There's you know all kinds of social causes that the student body in Midland Public Schools get involved with, and it's absolutely amazing to, to watch the students raise awareness to various causes. Whoa. Isaiah Bridges, three-pointer, his second three-pointer of the contest. Leading scorer, by the way, Garrett Willis, 13 points, two rebounds. Isaiah Bridges, nine points now, and three rebounds for Bridges. Trevor Davis, the leading scorer for Dowood, seven points. And working into the paint, Logan Daniels, the senior, coming up with the bucket. Dow High playing very aggressive defense after the Midland timeout. But they've left Drew Gandy open, three-pointer. Candy in the corner, hitting his first three, his first bucket of the game. One minute to play in the half. It is Midland High 32, Dow High 17. And we've got a travel called against Daniels. Well, it, this is an important minute, or 57 seconds, that uh, Dow needs to try to close this, this deficit, and Midland High 
would like to, I don't think they're gonna go for one shot, they might. 50 seconds is a long time in high school to try to protect the basketball. I, I've seen Eric Krause hold on to the basketball for a lot longer than 57 seconds if you don't put pressure on uh, on the gimmick. Oh, true. And uh, Dow's not putting a lot of pressure yet. Midland High, Drew Gandy with the ball for the Kimmick, and now a lot of pressure, and Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. Logan Daniels doing a nice job defensively, forcing Midland to burn a timeout with 29 seconds to play. Here in the second quarter, Midland High with the lead, 32-17. to 17. Pretty good-sized crowd. The bleachers at Dow High full, a lot of people standing around the perimeter to watch the contest here tonight. Now that stall just a moment ago, the argument is that you get out of your flow and uh, you got to run your stuff. You're not looking for a real quick outside shot, but at that point uh, they were running out of options and Gandy got caught along the, the sideline and uh, Eric uh, smartly called the timeout. 29 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Andy inbounds the ball to Vince Walker. Walker being double teamed and has it stolen away. Isaac Molinar coming up with a steal for the Chargers. 20 seconds to play. Chichester is back in. Now Molinar working the baseline. Goes to Zach Chichester. Wide open. Three-pointer is no good. Isaiah Bridges will get the rebound. Down to 10 seconds. Vince Walker with the ball. Goes over to Gandy, three-pointer with five seconds left, no good. Garrett Willis put back, no good. Second attempt, and we're gonna have a travel called on Willis. Yeah. 1.4 is on the clock. The Dow High Chargers will have to move quick and try to get a shot off here to get a little bit of momentum. Trevor Davis will just heave it right to the official. Touchdown. In the second quarter, have now been completed. We have reached halftime here at Dow High Physical Saginaw Valley Crosstown Battle. Great basketball being played. The Midland High Chemics with the lead, 32 to 17. We'll be back the third quarter coming up. You're watching high school basketball on MPS TV. We are back at Dow High High School Basketball on MPS TV. Jason Harper alongside Tom Bell. The Midland High Chemics leading the Dow High Chargers 32 to 17 at halftime as we take a look at some halftime stats. Compliments of Jeff Yoder, the best stat man working Saginaw Valley Basketball in Midland tonight. <laughs> we'll start with Dow High. Trevor Davis, seven points, two of those three-pointers. As a team, Dow High 12 rebounds, but a double-digit number they don't like. Dow High has had 10 turnovers in the first half. Midland High, Garrett Willis, 13 points, three rebounds. Isaiah Bridges, nine points and four rebounds. As a team, Midland High, 15 rebounds, five three-pointers. And how about this that uh, Eric Krause will be happy about? Midland High has only turned the ball over four times. In a game like this, four times is doing very, very well. That uh, you've got Dow that started off uh, trying to pressure uh, Mid Midland High, and uh, they've handled it pretty well. Uh, right now, I I'd say the biggest surprise is the fact that, uh, uh, that Davis is struggling to get an open shot. They're getting uh, Dow's getting their uh, points in some other places, but for Midland High, you've got Willis, which is no surprise, leading Midland High. But Isaiah um, Bridges has gotten all of his points from the uh, the three-point line that uh, I think we're going to see maybe a little more production inside underneath the basket. But uh, we've got uh, Chichester really hasn't found the range yet, and he's a dangerous shooter for Dow. I think they're going to try to see if they can't get him comfortable uh, maybe along the baseline or at the top of the key. Third quarter is off and running. Logan Daniels Working the ball for down now, Zach Chichester. Will take a couple of dribbles and uh, Chichester ended up traveling. Yeah, rolling stop. That's what that's called. You got a ticket for that once, didn't you? Uh, I did. A actually, I did in East Lansing. Uh, 
It was 45 bucks for a rolling stop. Midland Ives, Martin Money working over to Isaiah Bridges. Three-pointer, count the bucket. I, no, they're going to call it only a two-pointer. So Isaiah Bridges will have a chance for a three-point play. It'll be a three-pointer, but slightly delayed. If he can make that free throw. Down yeah. high, by the way, bringing in Tom Oakley because uh, Caleb Rudo has picked up his third foul. So Rudo becomes the first player to get into foul trouble. Isaiah Bridges no good. Garrett Willis picking up the rebound, and the friendly bounce does not go his way. Chichester will get the rebound for the Chargers. Down court, Trevor Davis splitting apart the defense. Davis is going to draw the foul. Davis has a chance for a three-point play. Wow, I'd like to see that one again, you know. If, uh, yeah. We don't have replay tonight. But, and Drew uh, Gandy's been busted open. Oh, wow. Okay. Drew Gandy... Is cut above his look up above his right eye, and uh, any cut in that area does bleed a lot. And uh, it's surprising how small the cut can be. Candy's done a pretty good job. Uh, he walked all the way to the Midland High bench and did not get any blood on the floor. Trevor Davis completing the three-point play. It's a 15-point game. Midland High 35, Dow High 20. Just underway in the third quarter. Martin Money working over to John White. Three-pointer, no good. And an offensive foul or a rebounding foul. They're going to get yeah. Garrett Willis. Yeah, he was trying to create some space, and uh, they gave uh, Chichester a little push. I believe I mentioned going into uh, halftime, Tom, that this game was physical. I, uh, I believe that... Uh, there's a couple of players that can uh, to back me, to that. Yeah, yes. that can back me up on this. Dow High was out of bounds. And I think that was Davis again extending the uh, boundaries of the court a bit. He but, does uh, know he's playing at home, right? Yeah, you, you do. But uh, in the heat of the battle, uh, you're not really measuring uh, your stride as, mu as well as maybe in practice. He nearly had the steal there, but Martin Money able to recover. White missing the three-pointer, and Oakley will pull down the rebound. Now we've got, do we have a, a foul or a timeout? Well, we have a timeout. timeout. Yep. Trevor Davis with the awareness on the, on the floor to call a timeout, and the Chargers were in trouble. That's one of the things that Davis does it very well is that he, he's got a high basketball IQ, and he was able to call that timeout to bail out his teammate. Well, his, his dad was a coach uh, down in Indiana, and, uh, you know, he's been around athletics. His dad was athletic director in Indiana and here in Michigan. So uh, he's been around sports a lot, and uh, he, he watches, and, uh, yeah, he's become a real student of the game. Midland High with a 15-point lead. The first meeting saw the Kimmicks pick up a win. That was back in mid-January. Districts, by the way, for these two teams will be played at Bay City Central the first week of March. Both teams drawing a first round bye. Midland High will play the winner of Mount Pleasant and Saginaw Heritage. Dow will play the winner of Bay City Western and Bay City Central. If these two teams would meet for a third time, it would have to be in the district final. Davis thought about the three. Midland is paying a lot of attention to Davis. Just not, he's not, he's not able to find a shot. Off the foot of Bridges. The general on the floor, Trevor Davis, yeah. has definitely got the attention of the Midland High defense. Right now, Ben Settler working back to Davis. Now to Settler. Settler loses the handle on the ball. John White tipping it away, but Zach Chichester is going to win the battle, but it's all the way down on the Midland end. Now the Chargers will give it back to Davis. Davis gets by Patty, but he can't make the drive to the basket. No foul will call. Midland will come back the other way. Not for long. Davis, <laughs> two on one, nice. takes it himself, nice. taps the bucket. 
Trevor Davis will get a steal and a basket. Midland High 35, Dow High 22, five and a half minutes to go. John White all by himself underneath the basket. White with the bucket. Well, we've had a little bit of scramble here, but uh, Davis and White both uh, some he heads up shots from inside the, uh, the three, three foot line. Ball is loose, Chichester recovers. Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Midland leading 37 to 22. Trevor Davis, three pointer, no good. Patty will have the rebound and knocks the ball off of Chichester. Jordan Patty, he's a senior. He will be going to Central Michigan on a baseball scholarship. And a is he great a pitcher? He is a pitcher. Yeah. Comes from a very athletic family. In fact, his, uh, his dad, Blair, was a member of a high school championship baseball team, I believe in 80 or 81. Yeah, for, Mid a, for Midland High. A state uh, championship, yeah. On the baseline for the Chemics, now Bridges can't get a shot to go. Rebound by Willis, put back is no good. They're letting him play basketball. <laughs> and now Dow High will come back the other way. Isaac Molinar, who has played well off the bench. Trevor Davis, three-pointer, count it. In front of his peers, Davis. Putting down the three, it's now Midland 37, Dow 25. 4-10 to go, and the Kimmicks throw the ball away. And Dow is slowly inching back into this. And, uh, you know, when you give Davis some space, he's, he's pretty good on that outside shot. Momentum is uh, kind of shifting in favor of the Dow High Charger. Chichester into the paint, count the bucket and the foul. Chichester will have a chance for a three-point play. Well, he's a handful when he drives in. He kind of glides in, in his uh, his release is up around uh, around eight feet, uh, and not a lot of players can contest that. Garrett Willis picking up his third foul, so he heads to the bench. My notes here on Chichester says that he's a tough player to, to defend. And uh, Exhibit A was just a few moments ago. He's a hard matchup. He's left-handed. He's about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six, and he likes the outside shot. And we're back to a single-digit game. Midland 37, Dow High 28, 3.50 to go. Three-pointer. Now we're back to a double-digit game. From the far side, that was uh, Henry Kessler, the sophomore, hitting the three for Midland. Davis looking to go coast to coast, but he'll be fouled. Well, I kind of like this approach that Dow is making. They're, they're really the aggressive one right now, and that's, that's been kind of the forte for Midland High, and Dow's uh, really pushing things up the court. It's creating some offensive opportunities. Davis hits the first free throw. Kevin Murray will check back in for Dow, and uh, Vaughn Walker will check back in for Midland. And also... Uh, Mitch Hayes has entered the game. We've got a timeout. Eric Krause says, let's talk. <coughs> Excuse me, let's talk. 3.41 to go in the third quarter. Midland 40, Dow High 29. And as, as we are approaching uh, kind of the midpoint of the third quarter, uh, Dow has really showed some momentum here that uh, they've climbed from way down to uh, just about 11 points a point deficit and if you're talking about momentum Dow's got it right now uh, Mid Midland High needs to establish uh, you know the inside game and also look at uh, Willis uh, looking for for his outside shot so um, you know th this game has all of a sudden gotten closer you know we talked about Trevor Davis and what he has uh, what he brings to this Dow High team this quarter Trevor Davis 16, 16 points total, nine of those here in the uh, in the third quarter. And a lot of it is through just being very aggressive. That he has really uh, put the ball up, he's gotten fouled, he's hit some shots, and uh, when they've left him open, he's, he's knocked those down too. So he's been a big help this quarter for uh, the, the Dow Chargers. 
And Midland High really doesn't have, have an answer for him currently. They just got to defend him better. On the free throw line, Davis able to uh, complete the three-point play. It's a 10-point game. Midland 40, Dow 30. Three and a half to go here in the third quarter. Dow High has outscored Midland here in the third stanza of the game. Baseline, count the shot. Henry Kessler, back-to-back -back bucket for Midland High. Kessler coming off the bench in the third, trying to give the Kimmicks a spark. 42 to 30. Midland leading, just over three minutes to play. In the third quarter, Mitch Hayes is in the game, but he traveled. Yeah, when they stand there and then they take a full step before the ball goes down, they think, no, that, that's okay. But uh, the, the officials are, are very attuned to not allowing that. Vaughn Walker, he traveled. Yeah, sometimes you get a little fancy on your spin move to the basket. It's got to make sure that it is a true pivot. Logan Daniels has checked back into the game. He, he has sh shown some real uh, spark, you know, spurts. Uh, he's had a couple of aggressive uh, uh, defensive plays. And I think they're going to try to get uh, Trevor into the offense again, you know, trying to get him the ball. There we go. And the shot. Down it goes. Trevor Davis add another three points to his total. And it was obvious what Dow was trying to do. Nine point game. Midland High. This time, Sean White answers the call. Every time Dow cuts it down to single digits, Midland High answers the call back. Right now it's Midland 45, Dow 33, two minutes to play in the third quarter. And answering a, a score is what good teams do. They just try to keep the momentum uh, kind of neutral. Dow Hives, Mitch Hayes, working the ball over to Isaac Molinar. Now it's back to Hayes, Hayes works to Davis. Dow really needs to spread the court a little bit more. They're, okay, they're not too bad, but uh, some of them are getting real close to each other. But when, you shoot, when you shoot like that, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Trevor Davis, three-pointer. Dow High keeps trying to cut this deficit down. It's Midland 45, Dow 36, 1.15 to go in the third. Martin Money dishes it out over to John White. Shot is no good, rebound by Mitch Hayes. Dow's got a numbers advantage as they work down into the corner to Molinar. Back to Davis, another three-pointer. This one no good, rebound by Murray. Murray has the ball knocked away by Money. John White has it in a reach-in, foul will be called. Yeah, when they had the numbers, I, I think Davis rushed his shot there. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Things are getting a little chippy. I think it's good that they stop play here. Let now cooler Davis. heads prevail. Well, the foul called on Davis, which is his second, and Davis is going to take a very rare break with 58 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Davis will have a, a moment to catch his breath. Midland High leading the game by nine. Last minute of the third quarter. Martin Money with the ball. They're going to call a foul on Molinar. I think the officials may be at, at the point where they're going to try to uh, get control back. Yeah, yeah, and, and that was kind of a, a touch foul, but it, it prevented uh, Money from controlling the ball. So that was a good call. Vince Walker working all the way over to Henry Kessler. Kessler back to Money. Now to Garrett Willis, back to Walker. 35 seconds to go here in the third. Walker picking up his dribble, but finds Garrett Willis. Willis goes back to Walker, down to 25 seconds. Walker being guarded by Daniels, loses the ball, but they're going to say it was last touched by Daniels, so Midland 
will have possession. 24 seconds remaining in the third quarter. It might have gone off Daniel's foot. I, that's a hard place to see from where we are up above at half court. Garrett Willis wide open, but can't get the shot to go. Rebound pulled down by the Chargers. Mitch Hayes will go down court. 15 seconds to play in the quarter. Hayes, couple of dribbles. Passing over to Daniels. Daniels into the paint. Splits apart the Kimmicks, but can't get the friendly roll. Logan Daniels will go to the free throw line. You know, and I, I didn't think he was going to have any room, and boy, that middle just opened up, and he filled it and just didn't get the roll. Nine seconds to play in the quarter. Daniels missing the free throw. Jordan Patty checks back in for Midland. Daniel's just one of those good all-around athletes. Yeah, at six foot three, uh, he's, he's mobile and uh, he seems to have a, a good head for the game. There's a good job by Molinar knocking the ball away from Money. Five seconds to go in the quarter, and Money's just going to heave it up. Had more time than what he thought, and uh, Dow High with the last second shot. I don't know, give uh, credit to the Dow student section on that one? Uh, could be, uh, you know, not very far from the Midland High bench, but uh, uh, someone should have helped m money out, you know, just uh, to let him know, because at that point he was struggling for control of the ball and his back was really to both, both scoreboards. High school basketball here on MPS TV. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, Statman Jeff Yoder by our side. Camera operators Dennis Caney, Jim Malik, John Walters, our audio technician, producer, duct tape guy. <laughs> Whatever needs to be done, Walters is the individual to do it. Great crew here at uh, MCTV, of course. Uh, Hockey airing this past weekend or this weekend, depending on uh, when you are watching this broadcast. A great hockey game uh, that was produced by the MCTV staff and volunteers. We've got swimming coming up as well. College basketball's on the docket. All kinds of uh, sports on MCTV. Up-to-date stats, Trevor Davis, 23 points. Five of those coming off of our five three-pointers to eight in those 23 points. He has been hot from behind the arc. Garrett Willis, 13 points in the game. Isaiah Bridges with 11 points. As a team, Midland has had seven three-pointers. Well, Midland really has had some defensive breakdowns that they they can't lose track of Trevor Davis. Baseline, John White put back, no good. Out of bounds, Midland basketball. And... Uh, the officials making sure the possession arrow is pointing the right direction. And the way this game is keeps getting itching back to a closer and closer contest, that possession arrow may come into play. Dow High has three timeouts. Midland has two. Possession arrow is in favor of Dow. Patty, three-pointer. Count it. Jordan Patty hitting the three. It is Midland 48, Dow 37. We kind of are hovering right around that 10 point mark, go down to nine, back up to 11. And Dow really has, has outplayed Midland for most of the second half. Midland uh, was in control most of the first half. Let's see if Midland can reestablish or Dow can continue. Trevor Davis, three pointer no good. Fettler, rebound, put back in. May have been partially blocked by Bridges. Well, since no foul was called, we'll call it a block. Sure, yes. There was no contact at all. Bounce pass inside. Chichester knocking it away. Bridges able to recover. Patty all by himself. Three-pointer. Back to back. And Mark Dickerson wants a timeout as Jordan Patty has come alive and Midland High now leading 51 to 37 with six and a half minutes to play. And you, you feed the hot hand and Patty has that right now. As a one of the few seniors on Midland High's team, uh, he's, he's really hit some important shots in this last 
about 40 seconds. Have we seen Gandhi come back in since he was uh, cut open? Uh, no, no, he, he hasn't been back into the game. I don't know if they've been able to control uh, oh. his, his um, Maybe it was a cut over the eye. It, it was. Right it, it was the, 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 the right eye. And you can actually see Candy wearing number three on your screen right there okay. that uh, that he still has a, a bag of ice on uh, on that uh, cut. The Midland High Chemex, nine three-pointers. Six different players have hit three-pointers in the game, and I believe they just announced how much money was raised for... Uh, for the coaches versus cancer cause. And uh, the unofficial total was lots. Lots. Lots of money. But that's just an estimate. Lots. Trevor Davis over to Molinar, back to Davis, and a foul is gonna be called on Patty. Well, apparently they've given um, Patty the job of trying to slow down Davis. That's his, is that his uh, first. first foul? Okay. But it is the sixth one against Midland for the Chargers will now be in the bonus. Trevor Davis into the paint, can't get the bucket to go. Rebound by Kessler. And now I, I think what they'd like to try to do is just give Bridges the ball, see what he can do in the inside. A, a turn by White, and he's going to go to the line for two. Uh, Midland just continuing to look for high percentage shots inside, and uh, White couldn't get the ball to drop, but uh, he's got two shots now to try to increase this lead from 14 to maybe 16. Not with a shot like that though. He's, he's gonna need to use his legs a little bit. Uh, he's gotta follow through with it. That was a little bit flat. This guy's got a good stroke. Chichester picking up his third foul for the Dow High Chargers. John White, one of two from the free throw line. Midland High 52, Dow High 37, six minutes to go in the contest. Dow High has been as uh, close to nine points, but right now Midland trying to build an advantage. Patty had a couple of three-pointers to help increase the lead for Midland. John White to Patty over to Martin Money. Goes back to Patty. And maybe Midland's gonna try to burn some time. Uh, Dow's not uh, being very aggressive way out on the perimeter. Uh, Willis not being in the game. Good pass inside to Bridges who gets the bucket to go. Nice passing by Midland High. Isaiah Bridges with the bucket. It's Midland 54, Dow 37, 5-10 on the clock. And Bridges is a sophomore. That's certainly going to get the eye of, of some basketball people in the area. Davis into the paint will go to the free throw line. And there's some good sportsmanship by Martin Money. He, he went over uh, to, to pick up, uh, I think that was Zeitler off the floor. Yeah, Trevor Davis nice will, will be on the free throw line. Count the first free throw. Dow High will bring Mitch Hayes back into the game. And I'm not mistaken, I think uh, Davis is looking for point number 25. Is that correct? Uh, he hits the free throw. Okay. So I think he's got 25 for the night. And, get, and we're, we're getting a nod, so. Jeff Yoder's got all the answers. Three-pointer, Henry Kessler. He has played well coming off the bench for the Midland High Gimmicks. He's given them a boost. Chichester, three-pointer to answer. Back Chichester to keep Dow High into this game. It is Midland 57, Dow 42. Patty, three-pointer. Jordan Patty has been red hot here in the second half. 
for the Midland High Chemics. Trevor Davis can't get the three-pointer to go. You kind of wonder what happened to the inside game in high school basketball, but uh, this is exciting. 4.15 to go. And Dow High Davis able to come away, knocking the ball away. Great pass to Zettler, and the foul committed by Kessler will send Zettler to the free throw line. Well, the closest Dow has been here in the second half was a nine-point deficit, but right now the deficit is 18. And Dow just has to continue to uh, really push the ball up the court. And uh, Chichester is a streak shooter, and that was his best outside shot he's taken tonight. And uh, they may uh, want to try to find him again. Logan Daniels has checked back in. Settler on the free throw line for the Chargers. Hit the first free throw and the second one. It is Midland 60, Dow 44, four minutes to play. Patty had to pull up on his dribble, but able to get the ball across midcourt. John White taking a couple of dribbles for Midland and White travel. The jump stop and a slide. Midland playing without Drew Gandy, who suffered a cut above his eye and has not been into the game since that time. Ben Zettler with the ball now for the Dow High Chargers. Trevor Davis on the far side. Davis taking a couple of dribbles, now back to Zettler. Zettler dribbles to his right. Midland playing pretty good defense around the perimeter. Now Zach Chichester puts up a three-pointer count. You mentioned if he's hot, you go to the hot yeah. hand, and Zach Chichester hitting that three-pointer. It's a 13-point game. Midland 60, Dow 47, 313 to go, and a steal by Mitch Hayes. You feed the hot hand. Right now, that's what they're doing. Zach Chichester, three-pointer. Feed me, feed me. <laughs> Ten-point game. Wow. Midland 60, Dow 50, 254, and Eric Krause calls a timeout. Well, Chichester's shot was off early in the game and uh, just wasn't uh, finding any kind of rhythm. And all of a sudden, you know, he's hit three in a row. And uh, that's gotten Dow back into this from almost an 18-point deficit. It's now 10. And uh, Midland High has got to be uh, really aware of where Chichester is right now. Force him to rush his shot. But uh, Chichester was really good about uh, taking, you know, a, uh, a jab step to get the defense off of him and then dribbled behind the line for the shot. As you take a look at uh, Mark Dickerson and the Dow High Chargers, how about the fact that uh, Chichester and Davis have combined for eight three-pointers most of them here in the second half. Well, and they're going to have to continue to look for that. And you know what Midland is going to do. They're just going to try to keep them from getting shots where they want to, uh, want to shoot from. But you speak of hot Ouch. hand, Jordan Patty has got the hot hand from Midland and Patty able to hit another three-pointer. 13-point game, Midland in the lead. 2.35 on the clock. That three-pointer is off the mark and a foul is gonna be called on Oakley. And Midland High is gonna take it out. They're not quite into the bonus yet. Uh, that's the fifth uh, personal. The Midland High gimmicks, one timeout remaining. Dow High has two timeouts. Possession arrows in favor of the Chargers. Midland High leading by 13 with two and a half to go. Patty being double teamed. Now Martin Money with the ball. Money with an open lane. Tried to pass it at the last second to Willis. I think Money may have been better off just going up with that one. You know, that was the second time he's driven to the basket. And he's really had a lane. And he's given the ball up in the corner. And he's very unselfish. But at that point, I'm sure he'll look at the game film and see that possibly just going up for the shot was his team's best choice. Oakley can't get the bucket to go. 
Dow High at this point with two minutes to go. The Chargers cannot afford empty trips down court. And they can't leave Patty open. That time the three-pointer's no good. Zach Chichester with the rebound. Now Davis goes into the paint and he is fouled. Are they going to call it a shooting foul? They'll give them at least one and one. They'll either be one and one or it'll be two. Davis is arguing for the two, and I think he's right. So Trevor Davis will have two free throws. There's 146 remaining. He never released the ball, but he was trying to get the ball up. So I, I, I think th that's, that's a good call. I think so. Yeah. He was in the act of shooting. Mm -hmm. Not that our opinion matters so much, but... <laughs> it doesn't mean anything, actually. <laughs> Davis getting the, uh, yes. missing the free throw, not something that happens very often. Yeah. Now, what we think doesn't have any basis on the game itself. Second one is good. Midland High, 63. Dow High, 51. 140 to go. Midland, across court, Martin Money. Has the ball knocked away. Tried to pass it, but Zettler almost came up with the steal. Still one foul to give if you're the Chargers. I would think you're going to foul sooner than later, and that's exactly what Dow High does. One twenty-seven on the clock. The foul will be given to Davis. The third foul on Davis. Garrett Willis by himself, left open, and Patty with the pass, Willis with the bucket. Midland 65, down 51, 115 to play. Settler has the ball knocked away. Henry Kessler coming up with the steal for Midland High. Patty across midcourt, and you think the uh, Chargers are gonna have to foul now. Their only hope to try to get back into this game is to send Midland on repeated trips to the free throw line. Yeah, but it's going to be tough. Uh, they're, they're down by 14 with uh, just over a minute left. Uh, Midland's going to try to slow it down. There'll be a parade of people to the free throw line. Uh, it, it's a steep climb for the Chargers at this point. Patty getting the first half of the one and one. Closest to the Chargers got this half is they cut the deficit down to nine, but as soon as they got the single digits, Midland repeatedly would answer the call. Some hot hands on the three-point range. Second free throw is no good. It's Midland 66, Dow 51, 101 to play, and a foul. This is not what the Midland High Kimmicks won, is they don't want to send Dow High to the free throw line with the clock stopped. Right, but... Uh you know, if this were uh, 66 to 61, that would be an issue. But uh, uh, Midland's in pretty good shape right now. Um, you know, MVP of this quarter, I couldn't decide whether it was Patty or Chichester. But, uh, you know, D D Davis has played a pretty good quarter also. Davis hitting the free throws. Midland high 66, Dow high 53, an even minute on the clock. And... Only about 1.5 seconds ran off the clock before Dow High committed the foul. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it seems like the clock really slowed down. There were a minute and six seconds when they were at the free throw line just a minute ago. And uh, uh, we, we've had a missed free throw and Dow went down, score and uh, down the court and then Midland came up, got fouled and uh, only six seconds on the clock expired. And that was a reach on Kit Kessler. And he's got a teachable moment right now. Uh, Eric is uh, just talking to him about, uh, you know, if you don't have the position, you don't reach and try to get something cheap. Because these officials are good ones. They'll, they'll catch that contact along the wrist. And again, less than a second ran off the clock. And Dow High will be on the free throw line. But as you mentioned, Midland High would have to have, uh, you know, 
A lot of odd things would have to happen in the next 59 seconds to change the overall outcome of this game. Didn't MTV have a 25-point shot at some point when they were doing some of their fancy basketball games? Could have been. Yeah. Sounds like something the, the Globetrotters would do. I know they've got a four-point shot. <laughs> Out of bounds, Charger basketball. Yeah. 55 seconds to play, Midland 66, Dow High 54. Dow High does have two timeouts if they choose to use them. Going inside, Isaac Molinar. Molinar being guarded by Kessler, goes back to Davis. Now Kessler's on Davis, who works the baseline, goes up for the shot. Turn Count the bucket, and Davis. Buck Dickerson will call a timeout. We're not exactly done yet. 43 no. seconds to play. It's a 10-point lead for Midland High. And uh, looking over to our statistician, uh, Jeff Yoder, uh, for Davis, is that 27, 28? Well, now you're interrupting him while he's trying to... Uh, 30. Trying oh to, my gosh. to add. Well, he, he's got both hands busy and one shoe off. So... Uh, <laughs> Okay. No. Yeah. yeah. So I, I've seen some of the papers that Yoder has uh, corrected. Oh no. He, 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 he's not using fingers or toes. Okay. Dough, so. All right. He's got his own hieroglyphics. He's, on there. he's using a part of the brain that I don't have, but that's all right. Okay. <laughs> Forty-three seconds to play. Midland High leading by ten. Chargers putting a full court press. Each team has one timeout. Chargers have the possession arrow. Martin Money working over to Garrett Willis. Chargers trying to go for the steal and not the foul, but Davis is going to be called for the foul. That's going to be the fourth foul on Davis, so now he's got to be a little more careful. Yeah, if they've got to stop the clock, they need to use somebody else to make uh, the sacrificial foul. So Garrett Willis will be on the free throw line for Midland High. And he gets the first free throw to fall. Second shot coming up for Willis, and that one is good as well. 35 seconds to play, 12-point lead for Midland High. Zach Chichester can't get a free shot. Kessler guarding him closely. Davis can't get a shot as well. Now it's over to Mitch Hayes, working back to Isaac Molinar, and Molinar will hit the three-pointer. Chargers try to put more pressure on the press. 15 seconds to go, and Molinar will have to foul. Willis has ha had a good game. You know, he's been pretty steady from... Start to finish, uh, he was given a breather a little while ago by Eric Krause, and he's, he's had uh, he his legs back for this end run. Um, and Mr. Yoder, how, how many points for Willis tonight? Garrett Willis on the free throw line. 18, okay. And that's 19. The lead is now 11 with 15 seconds to play. Davis will launch up a three-pointer. Shot is no good. Ball's going to stay in play. Chichester shoots with seven seconds to go. That shot is no good. Rebound. Ball is still on the ground. Everybody fighting for it. The final seconds will tick off, and the Midland High Kimmich will come away with their second victory this season over the Dow High Chargers. But this game, Tom, was a very physical battle, and the Midland High Kimmicks definitely had to play all four quarters to earn themselves this win. Yeah, and overall, Midland played good enough to uh, to protect their lead. But, uh, you know, it was a dogfight there in the middle of the third quarter, the beginning of the fourth quarter. Uh, Dow was, was finding some, you know, some spots to hit good shots, and... Uh, but, but tonight, uh, Mid Midland played the strongest of the four quarters, uh, and they pull away with an 11-point win. Well, at one point, the deficit was nine. The highest it was late in the game was 20. It finishes with a 11-point win for the Midland High Chemics. Garrett Willis, 19 points and seven rebounds. 
Isaiah Bridges, 13 points, 7 rebounds. Jordan Patty, 13 points, 12 of those off of three-pointers in the second half. For Dow High, Trevor Davis, 30 points, 23 of Davis's points coming in the second half. Zach Chichester, 12 points and a couple of rebounds. So the Midland High Chemex will celebrate the win over the Dow High Chargers as the fans begin to file out after a great evening of high school basketball. We thank you for tuning in here to MPS-TV. For our entire crew, Jim Malik, Dennis Caney, John Walters, Jeff Yoder, Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper, the final score of boys basketball, Midland High 70, Dow 59. Thank you for watching. Good night.